Warmer weather is here and people are going outdoors for recreation, exercise, and gardening. This exposes people to the small creatures, mainly mosquitoes and ticks, that pose a risk of disease. To find out what these risks are and how we might protect ourselves, we paid a visit to the Cecil County Health Department to speak to Deputy Health Officer Dr. Henry Taylor. Well, any of these insects are an annoyance. Uh, sometimes we wonder why we're plagued with them, uh, but they fit in the overall ecological cycle and have their place. The ticks and mosquitoes are vectors for disease is the short answer. With mosquitoes, you really want to protect uh, yourself from mosquitoes by not allowing them to breed in the first place. So if you have a around your home, if there are marshy areas, um, kind of work, don't dig big trenches, but you want to kind of keep the water off of those wet areas. Uh, if you have old swimming pools, you know, those plastic play pools, make sure that you drain them, flip them upside down. Um, the, they sell in the store. It's not an insecticide, it's a larvicide. They look like little donuts and they contain a bacteria that is toxic to the mosquito larvae. So those can be put in a swimming pool and it will kill those little tiny squigglers. And, um, prevent the mosquitoes from coming in the first place. So draining any standing water, uh, keeping screens in good repair. If there are small cuts in the screen, you can get these little patches. Uh, make sure the screens are tight fitting and you can really protect yourself well against the mosquitoes. And while Zika poses a real threat in tropical areas, Dr. Taylor says the risks are not so great here. Fortunately, in the United States, we haven't had sustained transmission of Zika. Uh, there were pockets in Florida and Texas uh, last year, but pretty much with good mosquito control programs, uh, we don't think it's something that's going to get a foothold and be continued in the United States. On the other hand, the danger posed by ticks should be considered when heading outside. It's best if you're walking on a path that is open where you aren't brushing up against leaves and grasses. We find the ticks tend to be easier detected if, they're, uh, if you wear light clothing. So you'll see a lot of recommendations to wear light clothing, and that's mainly so that you can see them and get them off you quickly. DEET and other repellents are very effective and keep the mosquitoes and the ticks away from you. So spraying the uh, insect repellent around your ankles, um, treating the bottom part of your pant legs uh, is an important thing that keeps the ticks from crawling up. They like to crawl up and then wedge into small little spaces and mm -hmm. hang on. Most of the diseases that are transmitted by ticks require the tick to be on for 24 to 48 hours. And that's based on the fact that in studies where they were looking for Lyme disease vaccine, they didn't see any transmission in anybody who had a tick for less than 24 hours. So we're comfortable about that number. If you have been bit by a tick and you remove it safely, and there are lots of instructions about how to do that, I just take my pen, make a little mark where it was so I can remember, because most of the time nothing's going to happen. Um, if you then see a rash developing with everybody having cell phones, I recommend you just snap a picture because when I was in country practice, you know, I believe the patients who came in, but there's nothing like a picture. Uh, and if you see the bullseye rash, um, then that is actually diagnostic. You don't need to go through all the expensive blood tests take six weeks for the test to turn positive. If you get that bullseye rash or a rash that looks similar to it, the color, a um, friend of mine says it's like a red coral reef. It's a, it's a rosy red rash. It has a very sharp edge to it. it. That makes it a little different from some of the other rashes that people get. If you see that rash, get it checked out and a full three-week course of treatment can nip everything in the bud and make you feel better faster.